Gold Beam co-producer Six Teardown. This is an image transfer device meant for large VHS cameras during the 90s. Since you couldn't just use a PC to edit video, to add images, you would slot them in the back, turn the light on, and shove your video camera in the front of the device while recording. You can also use it to transfer film. If you want to do audio stuff, it has a built-in mixer. So here's the weird video enhance feature it has. I'm sure this would work a lot better on a tube TV and not this Dell monitor. It's screaming in pain right now. Here's the actual front panel unit. I was wondering why some of these sliders were a bit hard to use, like this one gets stuck. And that's because the PCB is actually flexed quite a bit. They could have done with just one more post right here, and uh, that would have alleviated some of the stress, but as is, that makes this really hard to manipulate. Everything in here is single-sided board. It looks all discreet, but we'll take that apart and look at the circuitry in a bit. Yeah, so inside's nothing too exciting. The mirror wall, the light, and the inverter that I don't know if it's worth taking a look at. Um, if we can get it out easily, since I want to try doing some weird stuff with this in the first place, but unless I'm missing something, or I don't know, this open and close indicator on the front doesn't do anything by itself. Is it just threads into this and that doesn't go through to anything so there must have been something that went on it or I don't know what but can't figure that out and then nothing else really to it it's just purely mechanical for a lot of things the battery compartments nothing exciting yeah we'll just have to Take a look at this whatever mess. Alright, so the spot underneath the sliders has a nice semi fuzzy, soft, whatever dust protector type stuff on it. The rest of the case is nothing exciting. They got two boards with the different connectors on it, and then the main board is pretty much all analog magic with some sliders that have very long slide things on them. Uh, they're all 100k. And then here's the pot for our video thing and we have on here a Gold Star GL324 41st week of 1991. A little bit of unpopulated stuff up here marked as connector one. So there's another option that this doesn't have fitted to it. Um, there's actually some components that go underneath this capacitor here. You can just make out the silk screens. Looks like based on the pad, they originally intended something else to be here, but instead they put a, uh, a capacitor on it. So here we've got pretty standard audio connectors, just done right down to the board using a set with three pairs and then two pairs. The back has completely nothing. It's only a single-sided board. If it wasn't for the fact that it's slightly flexed, uh, the sliders would actually be pretty good on it. because They feel nice and smooth. They don't feel scratchy or anything else like that. That part is just a uh, quad op amp. The back of this uh, is just covered in flux and they never cleaned it, so it's just gross flux residue across the entire board. They even got some splashed up on the front here. So that's rather messy. Uh, I forgot to record an outro, so uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like the video and stuff. Bye!